Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another come thrift with me. So the first thing I found was this open knit jumper from George. I've been looking for an open knit jumper for ages. So I'm so glad that I found this one. It was only two pounds as well. And then how iconic are these, these Paul Frank pajama bottoms? Honestly, I was actually so close to buying them. This jacket I actually have is originally from Primark and it was three pounds for an Afghan coat, which I think is so good. I've actually seen this one previously before in another charity shop and then this pale blue gilet. Again, if I didn't already have a blue gilet, I probably would have bought this. It was three pounds brand new of tags it was diamond quilted and the color of it was so nice and then i saw this like juicy style pink velour tracksuit top not my kind of vibe but i can appreciate it it's very nice and it was only two pounds i was just looking for like the blazers and jackets everything in this shop is three pounds and under but the majority of things are like two pounds some of the jackets will be like three pounds some of the blazers will be like three pounds but to be honest the women's blazers weren't really giving it to me here if you're looking for a blazer definitely look in the men's section they are honestly so much better so much nicer then I had a little rummage through the tie box. There were some really cool ones like this blue one, some cool funky printed pattern ones. But some of the striped ones do give a bit too like corporate school vibe. But there were some really nice funky pattern print printed ones like that purple one. This fitted red striped shirt I fell in love with. I was so close to not getting it because it did look really small. But it was quite like a stretchy material so I thought I'd just risk it. Always see leather jackets. But this one was only £3 which I think is quite good. And then again, just having a little rummage through the jackets because you never know what you're going to find. But again, like I said, I always think even for all jackets, the men's section is better, not even just for blazers. Another little bargain I saw was this £5 real suede brown jacket. It's so nice. If I didn't have too many jackets already, I probably would have gotten this. And then I made my way onto the next charity shops and I saw this Nike zip up. It was quite like bobbled. Um... I don't know, it wasn't really giving it to me that much, but I really liked the double zip on it because then you can pull it like exactly like this. I've just showed it here, which I think is quite cool. Then I saw this cardigan. I love like cardigans that like tie up, have a button at the top. This actually really reminds me of a brown one I have from Sainsbury's, I think it's Sainsbury's as well, but it's so similar to the one I have already. If this was a different colour, I definitely would have got it because I absolutely loved that cardigan. And then I saw another Afghan coat. This one I think was next. It's not my favourite Afghan coat I've ever found. I don't know, there was something about it that wasn't really selling it to me. This brown corduroy jacket was quite cool. It had the fur collar. The only problem was it wasn't fur lined the whole way through, which was quite disappointing. And then this like crochet piece from Primark, like old Primark, it's got the Atmosphere logo. The colour is stunning. This was so, so nice. I loved this. This denim jacket would have been so much nicer if it had a collar. Like I just can't get with denim jackets that don't have a collar, but the two pockets in the front were a vibe. Sorry, but how stunning is the colour of this vintage St. Michael's jumper. I loved it. And then I'd been after a jacket with this fit for a while, like oversized, not really bomber, but not a blazer leather jacket. Actually, it's not actually leather. It doesn't say it's leather anywhere. It doesn't feel or look like leather. It was £8, of course, from the men's section, but the fit of it was exactly what I'd been looking for. I love this charity shop because it has a big mess of changing room. A lot of charity shops still have their changing rooms closed, and I hate not being able to try stuff on. So I tried this with like the zips done up, the zip undone. And yeah, I loved it. When I said I like tie-up cardigans, I really meant it. And the colour of this is gorgeous. Then I saw this duffel cream fur trim, like long line jacket, £25. Had a hood and everything. Then I saw this really cool fur coat, which had this big massive star on the front and stars on the pocket. It's kind of cool. This top, I was like so torn because I really liked it. But at the same time, I was like, I don't know. So I didn't get it. It was £5, I think, like, it's knitted, like, beige top. The only thing that put me off, kind of, was, like, the little wooden bits on it. I found this black faux fur gilet. I think it was originally Primark. It was quite nice, but I didn't end up getting it. And then again, I found another suede jacket. I always seem to find suede jackets when I go to charity shops. Well, this one was more of, like, a beigey colour. I can't remember the price of it. And then I saw this handbag. I loved the heart charm on this handbag. I was so close to getting it, but I was like, I don't need any more bags. This was another cute one as well. But yeah, I don't need any more small black mini bags. And they were, I think, £5 each. Then I find my favourite colour, a bit in a skirt. And I didn't get it because there was no changing rooms. Don't ask me why. I really regret it. And then I saw this Jane Norman Shrug in this really gorgeous colour. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up in this charity shop. Charity shop trip now. I can't talk. It was actually a really good trip. I've got, like, one bit of homeware. Oh, my God. Let me show you that first, actually, because it is so cute. And I've literally been looking for something like this in charity shops for ages so when I saw it in blue to match my room two pounds I said you coming home with me how stunning it's so nice literally colour is perfect for my room as well you have like smaller 
I have the Primark one, so I've got the grey one, the green one, and then I've got a clear one from H&M, but I didn't have any like tall ones like this. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. Still have not found any skinny scarves. A little bit annoyed about it, but I have seen people using ties as like little scarves, so picked up a tie. Picked up a tie. I also love I don't, at first I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know like about the ties. Like I don't know if I'd pull it off and then I tried an outfit on and I was like, okay, yes, I get the height with the ties. I think it'll look cute as like wrapped around and it's quite long as well, long enough to do that. So I bought this fitted shirt and I love it. I love the stripes on it. And I'm now thinking to myself, why have I not bought more fitted shirts before? Because I've definitely seen plenty of fitted shirts. Um, but I think this, like done up like this with like a few buttons undone, a tie, black leather jacket, yes this was from the same charity shop and it was two pounds i love this charity shop everything in there is like three pounds and under from cancer research i think it was cancer research i got this kind of like a little granny knit this picture here that i wore the outfit i wore in cornwall this was like one of my favorite summer outfits and i thought i don't i hardly own, like i love green but i hardly own anything green i kind of want to do like similar same outfit maybe like cargoes jeans trousers with this but yeah i just love the color it's so cute it is per una this was three pound 75 or three pound three pounds 95 guys when i tell you i literally i feel like i feel like i manifested this so i don't know if i ever showed it but i got this really cute yellow knit i think i might have from british heart foundation and it was like i just love it like i love it's like a pale yellow i love the fit of it i love everything about it and i thought i really want this in a pale green so i was searching the brand on vintage ebay and stuff didn't find anything and then i went into a charity shop and it's a different brand although it's basic it's literally basically the same jump i feel like the color isn't picking up that well like a very like muted pale green and the weirdest thing is i got this in british heart foundation i feel like it's in like every kind of like pastel like muted color i would and then i'm gonna save one of my favorite things to last i got another knit <laughs> this was from the first charity shop again it was two pounds this is originally as done um it's just like an open knit ever since i got my brown open knit cardigan again the one that i wore in that picture that i showed earlier i've just loved like open knit stuff and i really wanted to open knit jumper shirt jeans that's the vibe okay and then the last thing i got i got a jacket so i got this because I don't, I'm like pretty sure this isn't leather, it doesn't say it's leather and it doesn't really feel or look like leather, it literally just says RGA made in Italy. I have been looking for more of like, not really a bomber, but this style of oversized black leather jacket. All my leather jackets are, I've got like fitted leather jacket, really big oversized one. So I was thinking, I can wear this when it's raining and I have worn this so much since i got it the fit of it is so 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 nice and what i love about it as well is that so it's got like this little like that's not what i love about it i mean i don't mind that <laughs> but i'm just going to show you that as well it's got like the rga logo thing it's got two zips so you can do like undone here and undone at the bottom and i actually tried it because i've never leather jacket it would think like mm. it actually looks really cool and this was eight pounds i always get my well not always but a lot of the time i get my jackets and stuff from men's section because they're just so much better but that was everything I picked up in this haul. I've been to like a few different charity shops here and there, so I'm just gonna like compile all of those clips into like a come charity shop and me. So I'll be honest, when I went to like Jed's ones, I literally didn't buy anything. And my favourite one has closed down there. If you do want to keep up with me more, I do post like almost daily, like five days out of the week, I would say, on TikTok. A lot of like new purchases and come through with me and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just sorry, WJ. So make sure you go follow me over there. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next video.